Hey YouTube, as you can see I can use the Grand Exchange in one minute, yes! So I'm currently uh, just going to show you some of the clips I've got. So I actually achieved some a lot of woodcutting in the last few hours, I've just been doing woodcutting really. Uh, why did it log me out? I don't know, I've got a photo of myself logged out. And uh, yeah, I got to like level 50 in sets when I'm recording this on Friday, last Friday. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm just going to quickly withdraw some of my loot and go and sell it now, yay! Okay guys, we've got a full inventory of uh, well, what I'm going to sell really. So I can actually go over to this and go to exchange. You'll be able to... What? It's been the longest minute ever. It's been the longest minute, god damn it. Uh, so I'm gonna, I'll show the valuation of this. So it's 270k, I'd say mine a lot of um, logs. I've actually done a thousand logs which average out at around 45k. It's not too much, but uh, yeah. I also want to sell this wool. I'm actually going to start to do some flipping. Uh, I'll explain what flipping are in a second. Oh, yes, thank God we're going to do it. Okay, let's sell these for around 39. Cool. So, um, flipping is when you buy a product low and sell high, pretty much. You may be thinking, what, what am I doing? I'm actually insta selling all the products. Like, uh, if you lower the price down, you insta sell, um, which is a really quick way to actually gain some quick money. We actually got a lot of uh, uncut Rubik, which is like myself. So I, oh, I'm buying, that's why, god damn it. Uh, which is it's great, really. Insta selling is awesome. But uh, as you can see, the lower price to go, the more you're going to buy. You're probably going to make a loss, but I just want to get some money in the bank because I'm hard up right now. Okay, cool. I'm actually going to try to um, flip um, wool. You're thinking, wool, it's a bit stupid. I've actually got some money making methods from this charming. And they're teaching me how to. Um, I'm gonna turn my clan chat off actually. Uh, they're, they're just teaching me how to um, make money on old school because I'm more of a EOC player. But it should put us up to. Doo -doo -doo. Da 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 da. My, my eggs aren't selling. God damn it, man. I'll sell the eggs for one. I thought it was worth something. Uh, but we've got 250k in a week. And now we can actually start the money making. So a good way to make money is actually making steel bars. Since the price of iron, I'll show you. Uh, iron ore is 49, and you need, I think, three coals, so that's 50. Let's run up to 50. Plus that, that would be, if you had, no, I think it's two you need. I mean, I'll Google it. I actually got it wrong, it's two coals, so that, that made that 300. It's around 350. Steel bars buy for, how much does steel bars buy for? 490. So, so you make a profit of 150 per, and if you think about it, you could probably do. Nine a time, so that's nine times that. That's like 1.5k per inventory. So if you do 100 trips, you make some decent money. But we've got a bit of stack going here. I'm actually going to start training up the good old um, smithing just to actually get this happening. So I'm going to be buying some bronze bars. They sell for 150, which isn't that much. But uh, I'm going to be buying 150. I'll buy 150. Oh no, that's the price I was going to pay. God damn it. I'm actually going to insta buy by increasing the price as well. And I only bought 79. I'm actually going to start buying some um, wool. Okay, uh, no, I didn't want to buy that. Because this is a new UI on this whole RuneScape scene, so I'm going to buy wool. Just kind of like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pay 350 things. Like I think that's a good price. It's a better way to work it out, but I like to do this. I'm going to buy. I'll buy 500 for 50. So, you know, you're thinking that's kind of extortionate. It, it is. Um, I'm not buying any more bronze. Why am I buying bronze? Bronze. It's kind of expensive, but it's worth it, I think, just for the whole idea of um, getting bronze, not bronze, um, of getting wool. Uh, that is, uh, flipping's a good way to make money. It's hard to explain it, but uh, you buy pro buy a product low, you can flip. I used to flip a lot of coifs, but now that I've got the GE, I can actually start to uh, using coifs. I'm actually going to buy some iron. Just so I can get some money. Uh, it's going to lower my income really low down if you look 4k. But we have got 50k in wool, I think, is it? We're, yeah, we've got 150 coins in wool making. But now we're going to go and smith this. And I'll see you guys in the next clip. Peace. Hey guys, uh, welcome back to another clip. So, I'm trying to show you what I've just done off screen. I've just been training smithing up to 30. I actually had to buy some more iron ore. But I'm up to 30 now. I sold, I resold all my iron just to make more money. I'm actually heading to Falador now. Um, I'm going the right way. No, I'm not. God damn it. The map was a bit 
Dodged up, uh, dodgy, but as you can see, I'm get, I've got 336 iron and 672, which equals 12 inventories worth, which means I'm gonna be making around 12K profit, give or take. Uh, like I, start, I think I had um, 136K. Smithing is actually a really expensive skill to train, but it's really worth it just because of the things you can do, especially when you remember you can actually sell cannonballs. Cannonballs sell for 200 each, you get four cannonballs per steel bar. So you're making a return profit of 100%, 100%. So there you go. It's easy money, but it does take a long time. Oh, what you want, dude? Tell me what you want. Oh, mime show. Oh, God damn it. I might as well show you stuff. This is a random event from grinding too much. But uh, you have to copy what the mine's doing. Yay. This is going to be fun. He's doing some kind of rope, I think. Rope, is that rope? Um, climb on rope. Yeah. I hate these random events, but you know, they're part of it. You can see Teb's crazy right there. Oh yeah. Maybe I'll put this back on. Is that um glass box? No. There's a little glass box. I think it's glass box. Yeah. I, I, I like these. These are stupid. And you only get a mime costume from doing it. He's doing a little cheer and he's doing a cry now. This is probably one of the more annoying ones, because if you get it wrong, you have to do all three again. Also, someone's dancing from Money Power Girl, Zero I Zero. And, uh, yeah, we're cheering, that should complete the quest. And we should get a mime outfit, which I'm never going to wear. Oh, he's leaning on air. Okay, that, that, that's an easy one. Lean on air. Okay. I love how he does a little chew at the end, and with that, we got... The mime outfit, well, two parts of it, yay. Anyway, it's gonna go to Falador, I'll see you guys then. So guys, I'm at Falador now, I just put you on the path, as you can see, I'm not sure the value of this. It only cost me 337 to create one steel bar, it's probably gonna fluctuate just because of the supply and demand, but I'm gonna quickly run over to this furnace right over here, as you can see, this is the closest furnace to the bank, I'm pretty sure. So then you just click it, do, 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 do. I'm gonna make some steel bars, you need to be level 30, uh, steel bars, which is gonna make 10. Uh, we've only got, we're going to make nine, but uh, this will be making us a decent amount of money. I'll quickly show you. That is a good return of profit, I think. But anyways, I'm going to be doing this for a bit now, so I shall see you guys in a little bit. So guys, I've made 336 steel bars, which took me a long, it took me like 45 inventories or something, which is a lot of inventories. I miscounted. So that's going to sell for around all yeah okay let's see how much they sell for 168k so i'm in profit yeah again i had 2.5k whatever uh, 250k even uh, i'm actually gonna buy a rune hatchet which because that's the best hatchet or oh, rune axe even on old school runescape just because that's the best axe you can get free to play it's kind of yeah I'll, i'm gonna insta buy that for 7k i'm gonna buy i'm just a rune pick rune pickaxe See, 19k, I'll pay 19k for a rune pickaxe. It's probably going to buy for 20k. Oh, 19 and a half. Uh, rune is like the best free to play stuff. Uh, okay. I'm thinking what coif I can get as well. Oh, I can get the coif. Uh, I want to become a member, and I'm only going to become a member when I actually reach that amount of money. So, yeah, I've sold that up and I've sold 160k. I'm actually going to invest into stuff, which I'm going to be flipping. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in a little while. So, guys, uh, I've literally just come in. As you can see, I have. My 455 wool has actually bought. So I'm actually going to go in and insta sell these. So uh, you can see this. They bought for 160k. I'm going to make much money. So if I sell now, I'll make. Let me put it down to actually for three. I'm going to make a bit of profit. It's not too much. So yeah. It's still something. So I'm happy with it. Yeah, it's like easy money really. Uh, flipping is like the way forward, especially if you need something what a lot of people need, like wool, you need it for the farm's quest. I think that's the name of it. So it's like win-win, isn't it? Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next clip. So guys, I've decided I'm going to actually sell my logs really quickly. I just mine some logs. It made me quick some cave. I want to change my the price of my wool because it's not insta selling, which is kind of a bit crappy. Well, what if I put it to... 395. Like, I usually leave it in overnight, but oh, it's I should put it back up to that. But uh, I made a bit of cash, 7k. It's not too much, but it's pretty good. 
pretty good. Still selling pretty high, bloody um. It's wall. It's one of those things that if people want wall, they'll pay any price to get it. Um, it's like supply and demand. If someone wants something, they're gonna pay whatever you you want to buy it. I just want to sign a K to a K two K. Buying bond one mil, no chance. You're not gonna get it for a mil. But uh, yeah, just uh, in the G, playing around, you know. So guys, I'm still trying to flip my wall. I actually bought an amulet of um, accuracy as well for my range. But uh, as you can see, I paid 352 for the wall. But I'll need to sell one right now. Look, I'm selling one. Let's see how much it sells for. Yeah, that's happening. So I'm gonna put it up to um, 375. Maybe I might get some sales on that. No, I'll just leave it at 400. It's kind of annoying because I've got no money <laughs> now. Ugh. Three, I'll put it 399. Oh, God damn it. I bought some adamantite arrows as well. I know my range isn't high enough level yet, but uh, I can use that level um, 30. I can't use a rune thing just because I'm not high enough level for that. God damn it. I don't know if you can see that, but I've sold 40 out of the, four, <laughs> the 453. So I'm getting there. I'm gonna invest it into arrows actually so I can start doing some combat. Yeah. Look at that sweet, sweet money I'm making. Even when I'm fighting, that's how we do it on RS. Hey YouTube, I just wanna show you what some of the training I've done. I've got 51 um, wood cutting, 16 defense. I've got hit point levels, defense, range level 25, and then this is just general stuff. And I've been working on wood cutting ever since. And that's look to all the clips I've got. Um, I've actually been flipping quite a bit. I've actually up to like 260k. Since I've been uh, also chopping logs and selling those as well, so I've been getting like roughly uh, it, it insta buys at like well it, I buy all the um, wool at around an hour in after leave my purchasing, so and then I just sell it and that takes another hour and I make around 20k profit, which is 20k profit an hour is not much, but it all adds up. I'm actually hoping to get my range up to twin to up to 30 in the next few days, just so I can start using a maple short bow or a maple longbow and uh, using adamantite arrows which is like the best arrows you can get for you to play because rune is members only which is kind of stupid um, the armor is really bad as well for range on three to play so best you can get is green body and green body you have to have like 32 quest points which kind of sucks but I want to talk about buy limits on items since like I'm pretty sure every item in runescape has got buy limit you can't buy a certain amount of item. I, items i.e. One item you get like wool, you can only buy 10,000 every four hours. Which is kind of annoying. 10,000 every four hours. But what can you really do? Um, 10,000 every four hours. It's not too bad. You know? Uh, if you get 10,000 and buy them for the price I'm paying, I'll need 3.5 mil. But I would be able to sell them for 4 mil, making a total profit of around 500k. Uh, what I normally do is I normally um, buy all the products. Like I'll show you my G. I'm just going to run over now. So guys, you can see I've got 574, and oh my god, someone just bought, but I'm going to be making like that much money. The more you get, the more money you make, obviously. It's like supply and demand. Everyone's going to want wool, so they're going to pay whatever price you're offering, to be honest, to get it. I keep mentioning. So it's like, it's like um, there's better items to flip, but since like the cash stack is so low, it's not worth the money. Like Just to start trying to flip, I don't know, like a party hat or something, because party hats sell for 100k. I don't want to party out, um, but yeah, that's what I'm really doing, just woodcutting and stuff. I'm going to talk high to this guy, but uh, yeah, I'm going to be doing this for a while. I want to get 60 woodcutting because that's another good way to make money is U-logs. I'm slowly getting there. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm over halfway there. So it's going to be, like, I think it's like 270k I need to experience, so, and I've got around uh, 70k today, so it should be tomorrow or the day after. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next clip. So guys, I actually gained 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, and 60 wood cutting. Hell yeah, I'm actually cutting yew trees right now. This world is actually pretty empty. Uh, as you can see, there's only four people cutting trees with me. I don't know as far, actually. Uh, these yew logs sell for 500 each, meaning that each inventory I get 14k. A bond is currently worth 1.1 mil on the GE. So, if I mine about 1,000. No, it's not 1,000. If I mine about 3,000 of these, which I average out at, you average out at about 200 an hour. It'll only take me 15 hours, so I may have a bond by the end of this week to meet me a member. Uh, but uh, 
what I'm going to do is before I actually do become a member, I actually want to get my combat stats up to bloody. Uh, I want to get that up to 50 and that up to 50 uh, and that up to 40. Like range only benefits 40 and above. And then I want to start doing a uh, fletching actually on my members account because fletching is a good way to make money. But that's literally what's happened. I'm going to bank these logs since I'm going to show how much money I made. Uh, 12.5k and with oaks normally make roughly about a k so it's it's around 1200% uh, profit which is brilliant so guys I've actually been doing a lot of training of combat as you can see um, I, I just did a lot of combat training I, I went into Barb Village I actually went into the, is it the Sanctum of Security or something and I started training up my combat I actually want to get 40 defense and 40 attack as you can see I'm getting closer and then that's the end of it. So yeah, let's actually pop on to uh, RS right now. Just open. Uh, as you can see, I've actually got 1,500 um, wool, but it's not selling. So I'm just going to put it down to 190. I don't know why I left it in overnight and it just didn't sell. I want people starting to not buy it, but I'm going to put it lower. Uh, yeah, and this is probably my last flip of wool, and then I'm going to flip something else. I think I'm about doing U logs actually. But. Uh, yeah, uh, it's kind of a bit crappy that people are doing that. But I'm actually going to train some combat now. I'm going to be going to... Um... Oh, I haven't got any arrows. I'm actually going to be going to um, the bloody sewers and training on some ghouls. Ghosts or whatever you want to call them. I, I'm using iron arrows, not adamantite, just because the price, really. I'm cheap. Buy 300 arrows, yeah. And I'll show to you guys in the next clip. So guys, you can actually see uh, I had to gain some levels here. Um, oh, I pressed the wrong button. Um, yep. When are you going left, man? When are you going right? Oh, damn it. So I don't know what just happened, but uh, I'm just gaining some levels here. You go. Uh, general leverage, and that's all I really got. Yes. Um, as you can see, my current stats are um, 41 range, 50, 40 defense even. Uh, I'm actually gonna keep my defense at 40 for now, just because like I can wear everything I want, and my hit points are 36. So I'm gonna show you my setup. Uh, I just have nothing in my inventory, so let me show you what, I, what I'm gonna keep on death. I've got my um, green, and yep, I'm at a power. But uh, I'll show you what I've got equipped. I've got a coif. You can see it increases range pretty, not much, but yeah, I've got a team cape 36 because it was on a setup. I was looking for a decent ranger. I've got a power ammo which equals plus 6 on every one of my stats. I'm using a maple short bow just for the rapid fire. Studded body, it doesn't really do any range from like a hard body, but it just increases like, right, well it does increase my defense bonus for range. Um, I've got some green dehyde chaps. I would get green dehyde body, but I actually need to complete dragon slayer and I don't do quests, so balls to that. I've got some green dehyde van braces, and I've got some leather boots. I actually want to get a ring. But I don't know what ring would benefit like a ranger. So the best armor would be to actually have a, a green body, but on FTP. But sadly, I don't have one of those. Uh, I'm actually using iron arrows right now, because like they're the cheapest thing to train since my current wool stash is not selling. It's been there a day, and it's just not selling. I've actually lowered the price down, and it's not, I wonder if I can insta sell one. So they're currently buying for. <laughs> 215 yep so i'm not gonna sell that low because i'll make a massive loss i'll only make like 300k off them so i merchanted so i'll probably just leave it in overnight then as the price drops i'll match it but kind of sucks but yeah um, i've been actually doing a bit of skilling as well like i, I tried to do some wood coin i haven't really got, got much wood coin but i've been working on that quite a bit and I want to do more range to increase my damage on range. So I'm probably going to do that for a little while. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. So guys, I'm here at um, Hill Giants. I had to use a brass key to get into the building. I think it's um, west of the Grand Exchange. So this guy, you can see, he's doing the same as me. He's, he's killing and banking the money. It's actually really good for range. As you can see, I've got like, quite a bit of money. I'm actually getting a full inventory of gnats, limp roots, and big bones. That's what I'm doing. I've also got food in case I need it. Like, I normally take like seven or eight pieces of fish with me just so I can survive. And then uh, I'm banking this. This only makes me a quick. Um... Wow. Oh, I got it. Cool. Uh, this only makes me a quick um, 10 15k. More like 10k. 10 to 15, depending on how the GE operates. Which isn't that much money, but if you think about it, currently I, I'm pretty sure. Oh, this guy wants to talk to me. 
Um, currently, the GE is actually selling items pretty cheap. I'm going to dismiss this guy. Uh, currently, the bonds are actually really cheap, so I'm going to want to buy them as soon as I can. And since my bloody uh, things aren't selling, I'm not happy. Ooh, a limpet root. A limpet root is like worth 1.1k on the GE right now, which is great money, really. And then uh, whatever, thing I, whatever I make here, I'm banking it and selling it on the G, making more money. Just like a continuous circle, really, just to get that sweet, sweet bond, because as soon as you get a bond, your life pretty solid, because you can just go and kill green drags like 4k, and 4k per, per kill. And then, it's more, I think that's like 200k an hour, which means in 5 hours you can make your, more, your bond back. But uh, enough talking about that, I'm just going to kill the hill giant, giants for a bit, and uh, I'll see you guys in a little while. So guys, I decided to move over to um, kill some hill giants, uh, on uh, like I was yesterday. And uh, this is actually really good money making. Uh, you make around 12k in inventory if you pick up the good stuff. Like, I've got limpet roots, like I said, worth a k. Big bones worth like 300 GP. Just get full inventory, then just go to the G, sell it, then invest into like food and stuff. Like, I only ever take seven fish with me just <laughs> so I can live. But, uh, yeah, that's what I've been doing. I'm actually level 43 range now, which is great. So, yeah, I'm happy with how my training is going so far today. Pretty good. We've got a limpet root. It's really rare to get like so many limpet roots. Like I literally got so many so quick. I'm so happy. So guys, I've just logged on. As you can see, my wool have sold. I actually changed the price. It wasn't selling for 400. I had to sell for 300, which made me have a loss. But I'm still up to uh, 500k cash, which is great. Plus, plus the money I got in the bank, which is I mean, I've got like 600k. Um, a bond is currently selling for 900k to a mil, so I'm getting closer uh, to getting my sweet, sweet bond. Uh, it's getting there, slowly but surely. Uh, I'm still using the same setup. I, I'm actually like range level 46, actually getting that in a previous clip. But uh, someone wants to buy a bond for 900, 900 and you got no chance of buying it for 900. Just ban the GE, man. Uh, but I've, I've just been killing giants, really. I like to kill giants late at night, though, because it's like, it's like 11 o'clock right now when I'm recording this clip. And nobody is on. No one is on. Look, look at how empty the G is. It's great. It's great. I love it. Anyways, I'm going to go and kill more giants. I've actually got my, why have I got my axe out? I don't know. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next clip. So guys, uh, I'm going to show you some of my clips first. If I get a hit point level, a range level, a range level, a hit point level, and a range level, which, and it, which is my current stats are. 49 range, 41 hit points. I'm actually going to end the, vlog, uh, the video here. Uh, I've actually got around 650k in the bank. I'm probably getting my sweet, sweet bond. Uh, I've actually put uh, all the money into a, um, a GE uh, for, for 600k to see if I can get the bond. And uh, yeah, I'm actually trying to get my range as high as I can because that way I can. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you this, but uh, I can actually get blue dehyde, red dehyde, and black dehyde. Well, blue is next, then red, then black to get more range. I'm actually hitting sevens now. With iron arrows, which is great. I've actually got 2k arrows as well. Uh, I, I actually gave up flipping wool because it, I wasn't making any money off it in the end. I did make quite a bit of money off it. I was making around 30, 40k a day, which isn't much, but in F2P, it kind of is. But it all adds up. But uh, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. I'll see you guys next time for more RuneScape. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.